Here's a Hovercrafters model S200 lower end communications receiver from the mid 60s that someone gave me today. This is basically a, a lower end version than the S120 in that this one does not have a band spread control or a BFO control. As you can hear it does have a bad filter capacitor. It plays obviously, but we need to do something about that filter hum. Here's the chassis, very similar to an S120, uses four tubes plus a selenium rectifier. This is our big filter capacitor that we need to replace. Here's the underside. Probably also stand to replace those black tubular capacitors. Okay, replaced the filter capacitors and got rid of the hum. I also replaced the selenium rectifier. This dude here. The old one was still good, but I've had I've had problems out of this type of rectifier, so I just went ahead and replaced it with a 1N 4007 silicon diode. Here's the capacitor that's wired across the power line. It's a .022 microfarad at 600 volts, a Cornell Dublier Black Cat. I have a new capacitor, a AC rated safety capacitor connected to our tester. And as you can see, we have a nice wide and well-defined eye opening. And it's reading a little less than 0.015 on the scale. As far as leakage, if I flip it all the way up to 600 volts, it shows a little leakage, but uh, this tester is very sensitive on leakage, and I found out that some new capacitors will test slightly leaky on the highest voltage rating. Now let me connect this one and show you how it tests. Our value is reading about 0.022, but you can see we're not getting a very well-defined eye opening. And see, it's also showing a little leakage at 600 volts. And since that capacitor has a reputation for blowing up, we'll go ahead and replace it with one of these guys. It's supposed to be short proof supposed to be being the operative word there okay I'm now performing the alignment procedure I've already done the 455 kilohertz IF transformers they were off a tad bit and now we're going to adjust these tremors and calls couldn't find the alignment information for an S200, or at least not for free, but I found the information for an S120, which is close enough to get us going. Now they want us to set the generator and the receiver to 1400. Well, that's too close to 1390, so I'm going to go with 1500. And it looks like they want us to adjust C1 and C24 for maximum. Okay, as it turns out, this one is actually simpler than the S120. Uh, this, uh, this tremor here is the standard broadcast RF adjustment. Get that off of the station. I don't need no copyright crap. This is our oscillator adjustment for the broadcast band. This is shortwave band 1 RF. Shortwave band one oscillator that determines the the dial calibration. Shortwave band two RF. Shortwave band two oscillator. Shortwave band three RF. Shortwave band three oscillator and shortwave band four RF and shortwave band oscillator. And adjusting this tremor didn't really have any effect, so I just set it back to the original position. And I'm 
getting some distant stations in the background. and taken care of. We're talking more about perception than we are substance. So from the three steps of Muhammad, they go from being a religious one. Let's go to geico.com and in 15 minutes... ...vaccine for 10 through 25-year-olds for immunization to help prevent group B many... ...things are desperately wicked. There's one whose job it is to expose it. connected to about a 25 or 30 feet of antenna wire stretched out the shop window going to the uh, to a tree so I'd say this is not bad reception for a little four tube set as it used to be. I remember 25 years ago when I discovered shortwave when I when I bought a Zenith Royal 3000 Transoceanic there was a lot more content on it and today shortwave is about like standard AM radio about all that's on it is political hot air and religious content. This will get a lot hotter after after sundown. Sprint é popular, média e longa distância. E o sprint tra durante visita ao Estádio Nacional. Os arredores da instalação se detonaram. Ok. And our R&B oldie station goes from one extreme to the other. They go from 
having their modulation so low that you have to turn it up louder than turn the radio up louder than any other station and not at a point where the modulation so high that they're distorted. <laughs> Can't reach a happy medium there with them. But it's about the only thing we have on AM that's worth listening to. Everything else is usually mostly talk or some type of religious content. Of course, I don't have anything against religious stations, but you know, I don't want to listen to that 24-7. Ten seventy WDIA out of Memphis. And now that it's later in the day, we're getting some more activity on the short wave bands. So I think we can call this one done and put it back together. Okay, there you go. That ought to about do it. Wouldn't wouldn't call this a restoration. This was more of a repair. We replace the dead filter capacitor, clean the controls, and just for safety, we replace the selenium rectifier with a 1N4007 silicon diode, and we replace the capacitor that's wired across the AC power line. Maybe one day I'll do the other capacitors, but it seems to be working okay, and the later capacitors in these units didn't seem to give the problems that the older ones did. Okay, there you go. Thanks for watching and more to come later.